need a million more for you. Nothing prepared me for but the privilege of being yours would do. If I had only felt the warmth within your touch, if I had only seen how you smile.
Thanks for joining me for my tutorial. Let me go ahead and talk you through the layout that I created. So the paper collection that I'm using is Graphic 45's Once Upon a Springtime paper collection. Actually, beautiful and perfect for those spring projects. I decided to create a layout of my mom and dad and this is a picture that they took at their 42nd wedding anniversary in January earlier this year and I wanted to create something for them as a keepsake. Uh, I really love that picture of them. So I did a lot of distressing on this layout. I backed the 12 by 12 paper on, on the backing here onto some heavy chipboard, which I like to use, especially when I'm creating a lot of dimension on my layouts. This is gonna go into a shadow box, by the way, for my parents. Uh, I used my Distress It All to distress the edges pretty uh, good. And I used my Distress It All because I distressed the chipboard along with the paper. I put the paper down first and then distressed it. And then I did a lot of layering with the paper collection, as you can see, and I distressed all the edges with my Tim Holtz paper distressor as well as my fingernail. Um, I go in there and distress it a little further with my fingernail, just rub it a little bit. I used one of the die cut pages, the 12 by 12 die cut page with the frames from the Once Upon a Springtime paper collection. I used that to frame the picture of my parents. And then I fussy cut some of the blossoms from the paper collection and I use that to accent around the picture as well. I did a lot of cutouts and fussy cutting too from the paper collection. And I used some of the Prima Shabby Chic Treasures. You'll see the little window pane here. And then I also have the bird up here. And as for the Carla S001 products that I used on this project, I used quite a few. I use these really pretty pearl sprays that are accented around the flowers um, over here, here, and I added some here and here. Those are from Carla's Etsy. And then I also use the white porcelain ribbon center flowers, um, and I put them randomly uh, throughout the layout, and you'll see them here. And there's another one tucked in over here and over here. And then this trim over here is called the loopy trim. I really love it. And I did some layering. I did three layers of it. I did one in the ivory beige color, and then I have it in white, and then the ivory beige again. And then I used the dimensional floral trim on the top, and it looks like this. And I really love this trim because it is uh, 3D, meaning that it's not flat on one side. It's, it's pretty much round on both sides. And I just used my hot glue, and I like to use my Sure Bonder with the fine tip. Uh, and I got mine at Joanne, a local Joanne store, uh, but it's really good for detailing. And then also I use this small white pearl spray that's available in Carla's store and I tucked it behind this Prima spray. And then there's one of the large 3D clear butterfly kisses flowers. And I really love those flowers. They're so huge and they're so pretty and they sparkle. And all of the flowers that I'm using here are from my Prima collection, from my stash that I've been hoarding, but a lot of the colors that I had worked perfectly with the paper collection. Uh, over here I have one of the Jenny Sheer Butterflies from Carla's store also. I really love these. I totally hoard those because I'm absolutely in love with them. <laughs> I have them like almost every color. And then I just want to point out here, I have one of the Shabby Chic Treasure uh, page corners um, up on the top there also. And again, you know, a lot of just cutouts and stuff. So I'll have more pictures uh, at the tail end of this video and I will have the uh, project up on my blog as well with product links and additional details and photos. So thanks for joining me and have an awesome week. Bye. Ooh,